Hello guys, welcome to another video and you're probably asking yourself why am I in my living room slash kitchen and the reason is that the guys from GT Omega decided to send me their Apex stand for a review and I was thinking about it why would I test it out in my sim racing room because it's like you know it's a dedicated room for sim racing and I got my thousand dollar seat I got my fancy equipment out there and I know uh, people in general don't have something like that just when I was starting with sim racing I barely got even a little bit of space I got the G29 a desk and a chair and that thing was like moving like crazy and I decided to buy a play seat which in the end kind of helped me to develop myself in a way that I started the YouTube channel and I can actually make videos like I'm making today so I'm gonna back to the beginnings and just to see if this is gonna make a difference of let's say just a table and a chair or this apex stand is actually worth getting or not so guys without further ado let's get into it Since I've got most of this stuff ready and the only thing that I'm missing is the chair but we'll try to use a standard chair so nothing fancy nothing special just a standard chair just to see if it's working or you know so we're just gonna move this a little bit down just to show you that it's really easy let's see if it's just about right and I think okay I think this is the perfect position and I'm very glad that the guys from GT Omega decided to include this seat tray. It actually has these little rubber pads and it's not going to move that much. So let's see if it's actually working or not. Okay, this thing is going right in. Let's see, something like this there. This part is coming up like that. And then you use this little part to go inside this hole. How it actually looks like in like the other one right here this is the chair that i normally or usually use when you know i don't have any other chairs around so let's see if this is actually gonna fit and if it's gonna make my experience good or bad so okay got this in place and let's see if i can really play some video games and I said I'm gonna make this as budget friendly as it gets okay the wheelbase isn't really budget friendly nor are the pedals but let's see if the stand is going to work or not although it feels it feels rather different I can really modulate the brakes and the brakes really well the brakes really don't move I can readjust the car if you have a table and a chair getting something like this is gonna make your lap times a lot better no, just the consistency. I really want to see if I can get on the brakes consistently. And it looks like that is, yeah, that is actually true. So I'm just going to do a couple of laps here to see if it's working. But getting about 50, 60% of the brakes, the car goes, ah, goes a little bit wide. But honestly, if I'm being honest, this car usually goes wide and it's quite understeery. Uh, fifth gear, okay. Uh, the wheel is a little bit closer 
than what I'm used to, but let's get 100, this is heavy braking. And by the way, if you're using a G29, you won't get, you really won't get as much, as much pressure onto the brakes like, for example, I am doing right now. All I can say is that the brakes feel very firm and I would suggest getting a better seat because a better seat would really make this a lot, a lot better. But for someone that is using a chair and a table, just a normal table, this is much, much better. So your pedals are very, very firm, so they're not getting anywhere which is really the crucial point of all of this. Once again, I'm not, I'm not using the full potential of this wheelbase, but the Fanatec wheelbases are about 10 times the stronger as, let's say, a Logitech G29 or G923 or whatever. Thrustmaster T300 is somewhere in there. Whoa, and I cannot get this thing to work, to rotate around this point, but okay. Got it then, modulating the brakes. And we are kind of getting consistency because I'm usually used to running in my, okay, a thousand dollar prime rig, which you can also buy from GT Omega. You can go check it out. But this is something to, to actually begin your sim racing career with. Or if you don't have a lot of space, if you don't have, you know, really the funding to buy something like that. I mean, it's usually the space and the money itself. Uh, I would definitely go make sure that you check this one out. Let's see, the chair, honestly, the chair moved a little bit, but I hit the brakes really, really hard. So I think the crucial point for me was that the, the wheelbase and the stand isn't moving. I haven't tried, uh, I haven't tried the shifter on this one, but it looks like it's pretty firm. It's not getting anywhere and I can just do it, do it like that. But yeah, uh, they say easily foldable, but I think with the wheel, it's not going to be that easy to fold it up and, and also with all of the cables. So maybe I should unplug, unplug the cable. I'm going to unplug the cables. I'm going to turn off the base, which is something that you would normally do if you're just trying to put this all away. You can find a better way to do it, but let's see. I think you just have to lift it. Oh geez, this is pretty heavy. <laughs> this is pre pretty heavy stuff. And actually it does fold. You have to find a, a way to make it possible, but let's say here. And yeah, just to show you what I did and how I did it. So basically this is it. This is actually my coffee machi machine right in the background. And this is how much space it takes. So not a lot of space, although if you're running something like heavier, like the V3 pedals, like I am, and a GT DD Pro wheelbase and a Formula V 2.5, I would recommend putting it just into one place and do not fold this thing. So in conclusion, I would say that this is actually worth getting. So for the price, $150 on discount, it's usually even less than that. So for that amount of money, it's completely worth it. It's just a huge upgrade from, let's say, a desk and a normal chair. Okay, you gotta keep the chair, but the desk is going to be moving. And as I was testing this with my GTD Pro, I had some movement, although I know a lot of people, if they wanna make like a complete sim racing experience, I mean, you simply have to buy an extrusion aluminum profile rig or something similar to that. You know, more uh, more newton meters, more power, more torque, and yeah, you can feel it. But in conclusion, for the price, and if you're kind of struggling with space and you're just a casual guy that wants to play video games, why not? Let's go, I mean, go for it. And yeah, guys, if you made it this far into the video, you can go check out the link down in the description. So we are running a new giveaway and you can win one of the Apex stands. So guys, go make sure that you check it out and leave a like and you can also leave a comment if you think I could make more of these videos in the future. So once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll get you guys next time. Bye.